That's the that's the one tricky thing about the really boring parts is you don't want to zone out and then forget yeah. where you're at, get lost in it. <laughs> I I play too, but I know. All, <laughs> yeah. all right, so you guys got both of those parts down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through this uh, first sequence again just to refresh our memories. Then we're gonna go through the gym. I mean the number, the second sequence. Uh, <laughs> to refresh our memories on that. Then we'll try it all together after I explain what's going on. Okay, so let's go with jam rhythm number one again. All right. Sorry, sorry. One, two, ready, go. our memories on the first one. So we'll do the <laughs> run through, repeat, you know, thing. So let's try that one more time. Just and, one? Um, like... Just jam one? Yeah, just jam okay. one. Yep, alright, so any questions first on yeah. what we're doing at this How point? How many times are you picking jam one? Oh, um, they, these both work the same, like you'll play through um, the jam rhythm one, and then the accompaniment rhythm one, and then you'll just repeat it. Okay. Yep. Alright, so let's uh, just do the jam rhythm number one and accompaniment rhythm number one just to refresh. Alright, one, two, ready, go. Same thing with jam rhythm number two. All right, so one, two, ready, go. So far, you guys have got Are all those parts down. The beat at the end of the oh. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay. That would be cool. <laughs> um, all right, so um, what we'll do next now is we're going to run through the whole uh, thing back to back, like jam rhythm number one, the way you guys have been playing it, is I'm like play through, repeat, you know, and then you'll go straight into jam rhythm number two, and then the repeat. But then, actually, I'll wait to get to that. Um, so let's try that. Are you guys ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Jam rhythm number two, you just give it back up. 
to J rhythm number one. Are we still repeating that? Yep. Okay. Um, all the same. All the parts are the same. It's just like a complete run through the repeat of the entire okay. but thing. So basically, what we just did, but twice. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. <laughs> I have a special request. Yeah. Could you, uh, these are very advanced students, they pick this up much more quickly than your average elementary or middle school kid would do it. Uh, could you add uh, some cueing, some out loud counting, eye contact, pointing, whatever you can do to kind of let them know, here comes a transition, get ready, wh wh however that's comfortable for you to do, okay. but uh, rather than just uh, seeing if they get it or not. Yeah, yeah, okay. They probably will, but just so you have that practice. Yeah, all right, cool. So are you guys ready to start it? Yep. All right. One, two, ready, go. gestures or call-offs, that, that, did that feel kind of natural to you as you did that last time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really helpful. Did anybody notice the tempo doing anything inconsistent uh, as you played? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what, any, this question for anybody. What is something that we could have done in the lesson to help our transitions be smoother and our tempo be steadier? Counting out loud. Counting out loud. Uh, and, and, and Corey did that really nicely uh, in some of his modeling. Uh, and like I said, these guys are pretty advanced, so they were able to get the basics down. Mm -hmm. But if you had a larger class with a broader range of beginners, intermediates, and advanced, in an activity like this, that tempo is just going to race away if you don't have something to kind of keep everyone grounded on the pulse. Mm -hmm. And counting is one way to do that. Uh, counting with you conducting or counting with you clapping on a Glock or whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? A temple block, <laughs> not, not a Glock. <laughs> okay, nice job, Corey. Well done. Hey. Hey.